Welcome to Tea Party HD. I'm Phil Loicano. Well, Fox News broke a controversial story yesterday that the McDonald's Corporation had notified federal regulators via letter that its health insurance plan for close to 30,000 hourly workers was not compatible with a new requirement of the U.S. health overhaul, reported by the Wall Street Journal. But then McDonald's issued a statement later Wednesday denying that it had planned to drop coverage for its employees and defending its benefit plans. Listen in. They're saying, we can't afford to offer health care coverage to 30,000 of our employees under the current rules and the expected future rules of health care reform. The speed and intensity of the denials of the story tell you how important it is. Because at stake is President Obama's promise that you will be able to keep the program, the coverage, the policy that you've got now if you like it. Well, look, you've got Health and Human Services coming out with a story that says, w with a response that says, the Wall Street Journal story is wrong. McDonald's itself has put out a story saying that the story is false. We are not going to drop coverage. But neither of those denials, neither of those two statements about the story denies that McDonald's is at least talking about the rules or that it sent the letter saying we can't afford this kind of coverage under health care reform. Now I'm betting McDonald's will not be the only company who may or may not be happy about the health care plan. Guess we'll just have to see in the upcoming months. In more news, the White House earlier today has just confirmed that Rahm Emanuel has resigned as President Obama's chief of staff to start his campaign for Chicago mayor. Guess he's trying to get out while he can. Here's Dennis Miller's thoughts. Right. You know what this is this week? Gloria Stewart from the Titanic died, died earlier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sweet lady, great in that movie, 100 years old, died earlier in the week. Rom saw that. He said, I better start paddling away because this thing's going down. Going down. So, <laughs> I think he got into it with Stedman, the attorney general. <laughs> and Rahm Emanuel actually turned out to be the first person that Holder wanted to send to Gitmo. <laughs> he was the first guy that he wanted to get rid of. And now it'll work against Stedman because Rahm's going to go back, run for mayor, and then he will try to close down Gitmo to get all those, sold, those uh, Al Qaeda guys moved back to Illinois where he can put them in the institution. Right. And they already have they already built that thing. Thing, right. Think, you know right? why they want to do that? Right. Because then they could institute the death penalty against those guys, kill them, and they could register and vote as Democrats in state elections in Illinois. Right. Now, with more and more technologies arising, will our government go too far? Well, that's what some people may say, as we have learned of some new ways our big brother may end up monitoring us with scanners as we drive around using the same technologies from the airport scanners we are all too used to. I mean, the threats are real. I think we need smart solutions and, and smart responses. I also think part of defending our country is about defending our way of life, our Constitution, and our freedoms. And if we decide to uh, start giving those things away, I think we're already on a path to losing the battle. Uh, new technologies uh, do help make us safe, but we also have important laws in this country. We have the Constitution which basically say to the police that if they're going to conduct a search, there has to be probable cause, there has to be judicial approval. What we don't want is the police uh, investigating everybody. We want them investigating the bad guys. Now, I'm not saying this could be all bad. Given the right situation, this technology could be great. At, like, sporting events, protecting our borders, hint, hint, but not for everyday use. I'm Phil Loyacona for Tea Party HD. We'll see you next time.